What's up everybody, Jose Ortiz here with PetRockMedia.com and today we're going to go over a haul from today's little vlogging slash adventure that the wife and I took throughout the hill country of Texas. Got some games and a huge, huge surprise for you guys that I picked up at a local half price books. So let's check it out. Okay, so the wife and I tend to wake up one morning and just decide, you know what, let's go for a little cruise throughout the Texas Hill Country, see the sides, the sounds. If we see some cool little garage sales, things like that, we'll stop, little store shops, things like that. Always trying to support small businesses. One of those businesses that we like to go through is a place called D-Pad, which is located in New Braunfels, Texas. Small little retro gaming shop. They do a great, great job. They do not overprice their games. Great, great, great shop. Another place that I like to buy a lot of retro gaming and used gear is Half Price Books. Oddly enough, they do have some sweet little gems from time to time. One that I hugely, hugely regret was the Xbox 360 Star Wars Edition, the one that was colored like R2-D2 and had the C-3PO controller and whatnot. Super, super upset that I didn't pick that up that day. Was pretty much one of my biggest regrets going to that store and not purchasing that particular item. But Today we happen to make it out to the store out in San Marcos after I got out of work. And here are some of the games that we were able to pick up today. Now keep in mind, most of these games do have the cases. Most of the games are in fairly decent condition. I'm gonna run them through a cleaner to try to get them as clean as possible before I put them in. But just to let you guys know that these discs are pretty, pretty well kept, but they're not 100% perfect condition. So just, just, let's just throw that out there right now. And for the most part, today's games are all for the Xbox. I think I picked up a PlayStation 2 game. But for the most part, I'm trying to build up my Xbox collection, my original Xbox, and I'm trying to stream more of that. So most of these games are for the Xbox. So the first one I picked up today was Blitz the League. You can see right there, there's a price, $4.99. Now what's cool about a lot of these games, if not most of them, they came with the manual, came with the book, which is what I'm really, really trying to get. The disc on this one, I was pleasantly surprised because this one did come from Half Price Books. You can see right there, it is almost perfect, perfect condition, as if I opened it myself. So that's the first one. Second one here is Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Picked this up for five bucks also. I mean, this game was kept in perfect, almost perfect condition. I'm trying to build my Tony Hawk collection also, so you'll see I think I have one or two more of these. So keep that in mind. This one, again, came with the book, paid five bucks for it, and the disc for this one was almost brand new almost has a little little scratch it doesn't look like a scratch it looks more just like you know if you were to happen to move the xbox other than that really good condition next one i picked up nba street volume 3 this one was 3.99 i really like these street games if you follow the channel i streamed not too long ago fifa street really 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 like the genre of those particular games and it does extend to other types of sports, uh, basketball, football, which is a little bit similar to Blitz, except it's obviously on the streets, duh, uh, and basketball, and of course, FIFA soccer. So this one picked up, $3.99, also came with the book, and the disc, just like the others, very, very good condition. Has a few smudges, but those smudges look like they're fingerprints, so quick run through the cleaner that I have, and that'll be crystal clear. Okay, so the next games were picked up at they call it the d-pad it's a place like i said in new braunfels texas i'll try to leave a link to their facebook page down below if it's active sometimes i get it sometimes i don't but if you live in the area or you're from texas or definitely from southern part of texas austin down definitely definitely worth the drive to go see them they are great and what's really really cool and i think was purposely done is there's a little caesar's tip literally right next door so you can get your games get your pizza head on home have yourself a nice gaming night so, to go along with the theme, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Paid five bucks for this game. If you can see the little price there in the corner. Came with the book. And the disc is pretty, I mean, almost brand new. If not brand, brand new. I mean, that thing 
looks beautiful. Switching from the Xbox and I think the rest, yeah, the other two games are Xbox. This is the only one that's not Xbox related. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, it does go with the theme, but it's for PlayStation, original PlayStation. This one was the most expensive one that I paid for other than the surprise that I got. That's $11.99. Now, I was a little apprehensive, a little iffy at first, but I know all these other games I've been saying these are beautiful and perfect, but I mean, this one, when I took it out of this, um, the case, the CD case, you know, sometimes when you buy, or if you used to buy CDs, uh, kind of dating myself there, the middle was really, really tight and you kind of had to lift it. That's how new it was. That's how this one was. You kind of have to lift it up. I mean, so whoever had this either never played it or played it once and put it back and just never touched it again. So that is one of the main reasons. And I mean, the case itself, these CD cases tend to go, tend to crack. This one just has a few little scuffs in the corner. Other than that, I picked this game up. Great, great find. If I do have one, but it's for the Dreamcast. And I really, like I said, wanted to play it on the PlayStation. So here's Tony Hawk's Underground Part 1. The sad thing about this is that this did not come with a booklet so he did knock a few bucks off it was already $3.99 he knocked it down to $1.99 like I said that place is amazing so if you ever have a chance to go check it out go check him out the d-pad in New Braunfels Texas and again this one immaculate almost perfect condition now another collection that I'm trying to get back I did sell it off and I regret it I'm trying to get back to them was the original three Lord of the Rings games now this one was probably one of the most boring ones of the three had a lot of story. I personally did like it because it does tell the story a lot. And it kind of coincides with the very first movie. A lot of people were like, okay, there's a lot of story. There's a lot of, you know, kind of like leading us on suspense. And then for it to just to cut off. Because a lot of people, for some reason, didn't know that there were there was going to be a trilogy to it. So, but anyways. This one. I mean, the case itself looks flawless. If you see the price right there, $4.99. Really good price. Came with the book, and look at the book. I mean, it looks perfect. And again, the disc rivals, if not a little better than the uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Very, very gorgeous disc. And the cover art and the art on the disc is awesome too. So I'm trying to recollect these original three games. Okay guys, and now for the grand finale. I picked this thing up also from Half Price Books. You can see the bag right there. So as you know, I talked about a little while ago, it was about as far as collecting and kind of like how the wife and I like to go and just find things out in the wild, whether it be from mom and pop shops or kind of bigger stores, like half price books, things like that, which I like their, their business and how they take used items and they kind of sell them, resell them for hopefully lower prices. Um, you know, you never can be too, too sure of that. But this particular thing that I'm about to show you guys, I had to have, I felt like it was the Star Wars Xbox 360 all over again. So without further ado, we picked up a Halo 4 edition Xbox 360. Now, if you're a huge, huge Halo fan like I am and so is the wife, this console is incredibly beautiful as far as the artwork is concerned, everything on there. Now, the sad part is that it's just the console. It didn't come with the controller and it didn't come with the wires. They did knock off some money off of it. The tag says 59, they knocked off a few bucks. Still, I've got wires. I think I even have an Xbox 360 Halo 4 controller because I bought it, not the system, because at the time I was thinking, oh, I already have a few Xbox 360s. I don't need this. How was I wrong? So this is the big thing that I picked up today. Great, great condition. This thing is almost, if not completely dust free. So wherever this came from was kept sealed or kept in its box or just kept away. I was just a super, super clean person because this thing looks perfect. Just taking a look at it again. Everything works, the button, everything does. So can't wait to use this to stream. Um, hopefully I'll be able to. This is an Xbox 360S console, if you can tell. Um, hopefully I'll be using this to stream some 360 games for you guys on here as well as my Twitch channel. Don't forget to follow me on there too. But thanks again, guys, for checking this video out. Do you like these types of videos? Let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give me some thumbs down. Let me know what I could do to make these videos a lot better for you guys. Would you like for me to show you when I'm there? Should I be vlogging this type of stuff for you guys? Is that something that you'd be interested in? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter, 
Instagram, Facebook, you name it, I'm usually there. All those links should be down below. And again, leave some comments here. Share this video if you enjoyed it, so that way, because it really does help the channel out. And so that way I can continue to make content like this for you guys. With all the changes and blah, blah, blah about YouTube, it's definitely going to be time to support your small channel right now as we're really trying to build our brand and build what we're trying to get out to you guys. So once again, this is Jose Ortiz with PetRockMedia.com signing out. Peace.